Today's episode of I Didn't Know, Maybe You Didn't Either, we tackle a word that I've heard for years and never thought, where did the term come from? Jim Crow. I didn't know, maybe you didn't We're in my neck of the woods, baby. East side of Greensboro. A&T, right there. Downtown, right there. This is where I grew up at, baby. Welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm familiar with the Jim Crow laws, and I'm familiar with the Jim Crow South, where black people and white people couldn't talk to each other, couldn't eat together, couldn't drink together, couldn't sleep together, couldn't do nothing. They did used to sneak in some hanky-panky time, though, from time to time. Oh, hanky-panky, don't tell Massa that we're getting the hanky-panky on. Now, it all came from that Plessy versus Ferguson case down in Louisiana, where they said that black people and white people shouldn't share the same carts. And then all of America said, yo, we agree. Black people and white people should have separate carts. They should be separate, but equal which is the dumbest thing ever. However, <laughs> here we are. Who I wasn't familiar with is Thomas Price. In the 1830s, Thomas Price, he ran the minstrel shows. And in those minstrel shows, he'd go straight blackface and he would be dumb with it and dumbfounded and just paint black people as the most imbecilic person he could think of. His stage name was Jim Crow. And over the years, Jim Crow became a derogatory term for black folks. Jim Crow is the equivalent to the word The Jim Crow laws were the laws. The Jim Crow was a derogatory slang term for the derogatory slang term for black folk. And I didn't know. Maybe you didn't either. I didn't 